Under its commitment to the EU Renewable Energy Directive of 2009, France has a target of producing 23% of its total energy needs from renewable energy by 2020. This figure breaks down to renewable energy providing 33% of energy used in the heating and cooling sector, 27% of the electricity sector and 10.5% in the transport sector. By the end of 2014, 14.3% of France's total energy requirements came from renewable energy, a rise from 9.6% in 2005. The outlook for renewable electricity in France received a boost following the publication in October 2016 of the Programmation pluriannuelle de l'énergie, showing a commitment to rebalancing the electricity mix towards renewables. According to the report, renewable electricity capacity is planned to grow from 41 gigawatts in 2014 to between 71 and 78 gigawatts by 2023. Historically the electricity sector in France has been dominated by the country's long-standing commitment to nuclear power. However, the report emphasizes that by 2025 more than half of France's nuclear power capacity will come from stations that will be 40 years or older, and subject to closure or refurbishment to extend their operation. Thus, there is a need to look to other sources, including renewables, to meet the expected generating capacity shortfall. A key component of France's renewable target is the commitment to greatly increase energy efficiency, particularly for buildings and thermal insulation. Heat wastage is targeted to be reduced by 38% by 2020. The renewable targets are also intended to stimulate new trades and changes to existing trades to enable green growth. The PPE plan targets the reduction of the consumption of primary fossil energy by 22% in 2023 from 2012 levels reference scenario or a fallback scenario of an 11% reduction under less favorable conditions variant scenario. In terms of the reduction in primary consumption, petroleum products are targeted to fall by 23% between 2012 and 2023 reference scenario or 9.5% variant scenario, gas by 16% 9% variant scenario and coal by 37% 30% variant scenario in the transport sector. France has a range of initiatives designed to promote renewable energy use and increase efficiency. These include changing transport behavior, such as a target of 10% of tele work days by 2030 to reduce consumption. By 2023, the country aims to have a fleet of 2.4 million rechargeable electric and hybrid vehicles and for 3% of heavy-duty applications to use natural gas vehicles NGVs. Biofuels blended with petrol are set for 1.8% in 2018 and 3.4% in 2023, and for diesel 1% in 2018 and 2.3% 2 in 2023. By 2030, non-road freight transport is targeted to reach 20% of all goods. Initiatives to increase walking and cycling are also being undertaken. Car pooling and digital services will be promoted to increase occupancy rates to between 1.8 and 2 people by 2030. The country is also pursuing research and development of autonomous vehicles, particularly in public transport. <inaudible> <inaudible> Renewable electricity overview and targets During 2016 renewable electricity accounted for 19.6% of France's total domestic power consumption, of which 12.2% was provided by hydroelectricity, 4.3% by wind power, 1.7% by solar power and 1.4% by bioenergy. According to the report, Programmation pluriannuelle de l'énergie Renewable electricity capacity is targeted to grow from 41 gigawatts capacity in 2014 to 52 gigawatts by 2018 and between 71 and 78 gigawatts by 2023. The target for 2023 includes a high and low scenario to take into account external factors such as cost and consultations that may affect future deployment. The sources that are planned to grow fastest are wind and solar photovoltaic PV power. 500 megawatts of offshore wind power is expected to be grid connected by 2018. Onshore wind power is set to grow from around 9 gigawatts in 2014 to between approximately 22 and 26 gigawatts by 2023. 
Offshore wind power is targeted to grow from zero capacity in 2014 to between 3.5 GW and 9 GW by 2023, and up to an additional 2 GW of marine energy. Solar PV power is projected to grow from around 5.3 GW in 2014 to between 18.2 GW and 20.2 GW by 2023. Hydroelectric power is already well developed in France but is targeted to grow 500 to 750 MW by 2023. <laughs> Heating and cooling Solid biomass accounted for the largest share of renewable energy consumption in the heating and cooling sector at 8,661 KTOE in 2014. The next largest source was provided by heat pumps at 1,794 KTOE. Heat accounts for about 95% of the energy produced by solid biomass, while the remaining 5% is used to produce electricity. Energy from wood and wood products accounts for almost all of this production, of which 73% is used to heat family dwellings. During 2015, heat consumption in France excluding dependencies from solid biomass amounted to 8,836 KTOE, of which 8,115 KTOE were accounted for by direct use of end-user, and 721 KTOE from district heating sources. District heating networks were supplied during 2015 by both heat-only plants 326 KTOE and combined heat and power plants 395 KTOE. Topic: Thessalia Marine Geothermal Plant. The Thessalia Marine Geothermal Plant is located in the Grand Port Maritime de Marseille and uses marine thermal energy to provide heating and cooling to buildings connected to its network. The first phase of the network was inaugurated in October 2016 and covered 150,000 square meters, 1,600,000 square feet. The network is planned to be expanded to cover around 500,000 square meters, 5,400,000 square feet of Marseille. The plant pumps seawater from the port of Marseille and extracts the natural heat from the water using large-scale heat pumps to provide heating for the town. The process can be reversed to provide cooling during the hot Mediterranean summer. The project is regarded as a flagship example and it is hoped more will follow, including a much larger geothermal marine project on the island of La Réunion to supply air conditioning utilizing seawater piped from 1,100 meters 3, Transport Biodiesel provided the largest share of renewable energy in the transport sector at 2,541 KTOE in 2014. In the same year bioethanol provided the next largest share at 414 KTOE followed by renewable electricity at 251 KTOE. The stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in France passed the 100,000-unit milestone in October 2016, making the country the second-largest plug-in market in Europe after Norway, and fifth worldwide. Sources Hydroelectric power Hydroelectric power is the largest single source of renewable electricity in France accounting for 12.2% of total domestic power consumption in 2016. According to industry sources in 2014 there were around 2,600 hydroelectric plants of widely varying capacity accounting for 25,400 MW of installed capacity, 436 of these plants were run by EDF Electricité de France, a French-based utility company largely owned by the state and accounted for around 19,900 MW of the total capacity. In 2014 France was the world's tenth largest producer of hydroelectricity, and Europe's second largest after Norway, producing 69 terawatt-hours including pumped storage production. 
In 2016 aggregated hydroelectric plants of greater than 1 MW capacity of the run of the river or poundage type accounted for 10,327 MW, the water reservoir type accounted for 8,231 MW and pumped storage type 4,965 MW. Wind power France has the second largest wind potential in Europe. Wind power capacity grew from 3,577 MW in 2008 to 10,358 MW by 2015 as France continues to develop this potential. As of year end 2015, all wind power in France is onshore. Total onshore capacity is planned to more than double by 2023. France is committed to developing a large offshore capability, with the first 500 megawatts of capacity scheduled to come online by 2018. By 2023, France could have up to 11 gigawatts of offshore wind and marine energy. Topic. Solar PV power Solar photovoltaic PV power grew from 104 MW capacity in 2008 to 6,549 MW by year-end 2015 at which time France had the seventh largest solar PV installed capacity in the world. France and is set to undergo significant expansion of its solar power with a target of around 18 to 20 gigawatts installed capacity by 2023. In January 2016, President François Hollande and the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, laid the foundation stone for the headquarters of the International Solar Alliance ESA in Gwalpahari, Gurgaon, India. The ESA will focus on promoting and developing solar energy and solar products for countries lying wholly or partially between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. In 2018 EDF had plans to invest up to €25 billion Euros in PV power generation, and introduce green electricity tariffs. <laughs> Tidal power France opened Rance Tidal Power Station, the world's first tidal power station, in 1966. It remained the world's largest tidal station until 2011. Its 24 turbines reach a peak output of 240 MW with an annual output of around 500 GWh. The dam traverses the estuary of the Rance River in Brittany, connecting the tourist towns of Dinard and St Malo, providing both a roadbridge and footbridge. In addition the barrage is a popular destination in its own right amongst both tourists and anglers providing a pleasant walkway across the entire estuary. Topic: <laughs> Targets and progress. Topic targets note percentage values are shares of renewable energy sources res in the total domestic market for heating and cooling h and c electricity e and transport t sectors France has an overall target of producing 23% of its total energy needs from renewable energy by 2020, encompassing 33% in the heating and cooling sector, 27% in the electricity sector and 10.5% in the transport sector. Topic. Progress By 2014 France had achieved a 14.3% renewable energy share of its total energy use, a figure a little below its target figure of 16% by that year. Figures for the transport and electricity sectors were at or near their targets whilst the shortfall in the heating and cooling sector was around 4.1%. This may partially be explained by the ambitious rates targeted for this sector, where other countries typically have higher percentage targets in the electricity sector, a sector that has proven easier to raise the share of renewable energy. See also Wind power in France Solar power in France Plug-in electric vehicles in France Renewable energy by country